Okay, some things that I forgot to say about fractions. Can I have everyone's attention really quick? So fractions, we've been talking a lot about fractions today. Now, one, some vocabulary I forgot to mention is numerator and denominator. Okay, the numerator goes on top and the denominator goes on the bottom. So the numerator tells you how many pieces do I have. The denominator tells you the size, just like when you go to the bank and you cash your check. They're going to ask you, what denominations do you want it in? Denominations, do you want it in 20s? Do you want it in 1s? Do you want it in 5s? The denomination, denominator, is the size of the piece. Just like you notice, the more we divide something up into equal size pieces, the bigger the denominator is, the smaller the piece that we actually get. So if I were to block off six of these, and I have six pieces here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six would be my numerator, because it's the number of pieces I have. The size of each piece is the denominator, which is 12. Six over 12. Now, who can give me an equivalent fraction to six twelfths? If we look just up the line, It would be the same thing as 4 eighths because you count 1, 2, 3, 4. The numerator is 4. The denominator is 8. That's the size of the piece. Can anyone tell me any other fractions that are equivalent to 4 eighths? 4 eighths. 4 eighths is equivalent to 4 eighths. 2 fourths. There's 4, the fourths, and there's 2 of them. So 2 fourths. Any others? One half. These are all equivalent to one half. And I would call all of these fractions, since they're equivalent to one half, I would call them members of the one half fraction family. So that's how they're related to each other. Okay, any others? Let's, let's look really fast at, okay, who can tell me what, what is this fraction right here that I'm covering up the tenths? How many tenths do I have? Four tenths. So that's the number is four, the numerator the tenth is the size of the piece. And what's an equivalent fraction to four tenths? Two fifths. You see how that lines up perfectly if I had my pieces out. It, it's easier when they're cut up, you see, because you can move them around. Exactly. Is equal to two fifths. We call this reducing. Okay? And reducing, we start with numbers, and we are trying to figure out well, what number divides evenly into each. How did, I, how did we go mathematically from 4 tenths down to 2 fifths? How did, oh, I divided by what? Yeah, each one has to get divided by the same thing. Okay.